Hello guys, welcome back to the Hive Productions. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn about some creating a static glow set in 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. First of all, as you can see, I have a 3D Studio Max and uh, I'm going to draw a box throughout the chamfer box and uh, here's a simple box which is going to be 6 feet tall and 5 feet has the width somehow 2.6 feet its depth as well so I'm just going to convert them into poly and delete this extra side because I'm going to draw my door here so I'm going to delete this uh, and now uh, so um, let's see uh, it's a depth uh, size for me so I'm going to adjust depth here likewise okay and delete this extra part now it's time to find out shell modifier shell modifier create the depth in it so I'm going to give some depth in my closet uh, and I'm going to duplicate start holding shift key and rotate them after rotating, just convert, go to the edge tool, connect one edge and detach this half part because these are the different doors. One is for right and one is for left. So now I will adjust this, this side. Like uh, it will be open here. And I'm going to adjust pivot point on the corner of this here. And after that, I will adjust on the corners like this. So now I rotate this so my door will open like this. Once again, I have to duplicate this and also apply it here. So these are the two doors. I'm going to apply shell modifier on both sides. Copy and paste, copy and paste. So here I have created this basic structure. I'm going to take my capsule and uh, after doing this i will adjust capsule on the lock on the joint of the doors like this increase their height and convert them into poly increase their segments by connecting and uh, like this and also go to the chamfer side okay take the polygon make them extrude like this well it's now good here i'm going to duplicate and also duplicate from left to right as well from the both side of the door and here is my door we can close it like this and open like this so the basic structure of my closet is ready what am I going to do? I'm going to import some materials, some things like uh, handbags and uh, I have already downloaded and you can get the link in the description from where I have downloaded these handbags. Uh, okay, so one handbag here. I'm going to import March another handbag. Another handbag. Sorry, import March handbag number three which is the red one and handbag number four is also the red one so we have these three in these four handbags and also import merge one jacket as well because it's a closet so definitely we need a jacket like this okay so we have these props uh, which is I've done downloaded from this uh, internet uh, I'm going to adjust these props in the closet like this and holding shift key and by holding shift key you can get uh, duplicates so first of all i'm going to take cylinder because it's kind of a rod where we can hang our uh, jackets so now you just increase the height of the cylinder so like this that's perfect and i have uh, just set this closet duplicate by holding shift key and some more duplicates as well 
and the last one is uh, my display so I'm going to set this like this from this part okay perfect here moving over to our next step is that I'm going to take the box and I will draw my shelves in the closet increase their heights that's perfect and uh, <coughs> Okay, so now we need to set these handbags uh, here. First, I'm going to make their size equal, not completely equal, but uh, proportionally we have to make it equal, uh, not too much big bag or not too many small bag. So I'm going to place on the top by some rotating like this. Here it is. And uh, as well, something big in size you will have to adjust this accordingly according to your size it's not uh, mandatory uh, so now i'm going to adjust this as well once again like this and place a knot shelf okay the bag number third put them on rotate them and uh, place on the perfect place from the top side and as well this one like this and place it on here okay so we need to create their uh, position perfectly according to lay and uh, again I'm going to duplicate uh, select them like this and uh, moving over toward top duplicate their shelves once again again and uh, Just adjust their sizing throughout the scaling options and what am I going to do? I'm going to put this throughout duplicate once again by holding shift key and uh, inside of it I'm going to <coughs> adjust their sizing by scaling. Once again <coughs> I have to go to the box and we'll draw a box here and it's just a uh, optionary and not compulsory not a mandatory it's just a box i'm going to show some folded jackets and so that's why i have drawn this box here and uh, now i'm going to apply a material and the material bitmap and we'll find out my texture this jacket texture Go to the UVW map modifier, find out UVW map and adjust UVW map from like this. And once again, I'm going to tell you guys that this is not compulsory on, this is not mandatory. I'm just creating this as an optionary. So don't um, take it seriously. It's just an option. So I'm going to duplicate this option two or three or four maybe seven times or okay from this part have some gap between of it I don't like this I'm going to rotate them just to give some random positions okay so as well I'm going to duplicate once again on this uh, side and duplicate holding shift key copy and increase their height or the scaling because I'm going to make that draw drawers or lockers in it so again you will have to convert them into poly go to the polygons make them insert and uh, extrude them like this okay so make them a little bit chamfer which is not I don't think it's a good idea uh, no it's, it's not looking good I think it's just okay okay so here I'm going to unhide all them items and uh, duplicate this and uh, after duplicating convert them into poly take their vertices pick it down like this 
and uh, I'm going to add their each and as well what you will have to do you will have to add another connection in this center sorry in the center like this just to create shelves so I'm going to give them chamfer to create some kind of a gap between of it and as well once again inside of it so I have these basic model maybe I'm going to take polygons and uh, maybe I will okay I will draw a new box here on the top like this and let me show you that it has to be like this so now we have these closed we have this uh, handbags and we also have uh, drawers and lockers one more thing I'm going to add it because I have already created the doors so I will adjust their handbags by holding shift key duplicate them and adjust their handbags in the side of it as well so here are these bags arranged in a vertical column and this alignment has to be random one is on the front oh sorry two is on the front two are on the back like this and uh, also i'm going to create some boxes uh, to create their shelves under their backs so here is the shelf throughout the box and i will place here and increase their height so it will like this also set your box create your duplicates inside of it like this select both of them make them again duplicate and set under these bags as well that's okay and now select all of them and dupli uh, duplicate from left to right I'm going to select these bags and rotate these bags like this. So according to the modeling, I'm going to add some more thing, which is my door locks. So I'm going to take rectangle, convert them into spline and delete their first, make them fill it their edges. And as well, you will have to go to the rain rings, increase the, uh, sorry, decrease their thickness and adjust on the door sides like this that's perfect and make them once again you will have to make them duplicates and again you will have to make the duplicates and also rotate in the form of vertical section but duplicate them and you will have to create some adjustment according to their positions and now I'm going to save this with the name of a store 2 and uh, here I have this basic structure I'm going to import and merge one more thing which is called my chair it's an armchair definitely if a person who is selling their clothes in their closet so definitely he needs a chair to sit as well so I'm adding this armchair uh, for the shopkeeper or for the proprietor uh, and as well I'm going to draw a plane with the air segments 100 by 100 because I'm 
going to create the grass or astrotrop maybe you can call it go to the v-ray find out v-ray fur and here is my v-ray fur decrease their length also decrease their thickness and now you will have to go to the uh, material editor but before that adjust their lighting okay so take v-ray lighting and adjust v-ray lighting on the top in the closet like this perfect give them a uh, eight person multipliers little bit yellowish color invisible lights duplicate these lights under the neat and once again you have to duplicate these lights on the left side of your doors and place a separate lights for everyone duplicate these and also duplicate them. so the four handbags we had so we have four lights each light has carry uh, each handbag uh, so I'm going to once again I'm going to duplicate these lights because there are some problems in their placements okay so these lights have to be uh, selected wisely and duplicate their uh, right side and uh, have to adjust like this from here so we have these hand lights as well we have added uh, so it's the time to create uh, um, another rectangle uh, from the top uh, because I'm going to give the shop name as well going to spline and make them uh, a little bit to fill it or uh, maybe you will have to adjust your size manually after that I'm going to make it center after centering you will have to apply extrude modifier to create or maybe to give some depth convert them into poly take polygon make them insert and little bit insert and after that go to the extrude inside of it so it is the uh, you can call it the fascia board for my e closet so i'm going to apply uh, this color all like this and uh, also apply another video materials in the video material I'm going to take white color and uh, a little bit reflective material so which have to be 0 0.85 glossiness and the same thing I'm going to take another video material video light material and give apply their logo I think we should not do this because uh, it has some time so I'm gonna take another video material take this logo and I will apply the logo of spirit here oh I think I think I I think I had just, just done some mistake so I'm gonna apply video material the spirit as well like this uh, so here it is my spirit logo my brand but it's not my brand and it's not a sponsor as well so same thing I'm gonna apply white color on my closet uh, but uh, the inside of it I'm gonna convert them into poly and take my all the polygons A, all the polygons select one by one and give this pink color same thing I'm gonna apply here drawing your selections and like this same thing apply here grow your selections and apply here uh, 
Okay, so according to the texture, my shelves are remaining. I'm going to take another video materials and I will apply here on this locks a chrome material which has to be black and some reflective. So these are my reflective chrome material. I'm going to apply them. Also these drawers white has to be white and and they have to be pink but these close at uh, my door and the lock lock has to be chrome and uh, I'm going to try select this extra draw for maybe this video file. I'm going to give the video material has to be greenish color because for showing them that it's a grass. Also set these shelves, I'm gonna give white color as well. So now these, my shelves or maybe my closet are com is completed I throw out these uh, modeling. Uh, I'm going to make them a group and after that I'm going to give their name is store and also save them but uh, one more thing which is i would like to give some changes in it that i have already atmosphere which is i have downloaded from the internet i'm going to give the link in the description from where i have downloaded this model with the lighting all set up so i'm going to import them merge them my e-store in here and after that i will just uh, trying to adjust this store in this atmosphere so I have to set like this and as well it's not in the it's in it's in the ear not on the floor so we have to put them on the floor like this okay make it center close it the camera and start taking first go to the render settings maybe i think we don't need anything more just to start making renders so let's see how it look like Well guys, it looks amazing. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, so subscribe my channel, press the bell icon. Thank you so much.